How's it going YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna show you where all your grease fittings are on your John Deere 100 series tractor. I already took off the deck. If you do not know how to take the deck off, watch my other video. I'll put that up here in a corner of this video. Make sure you watch that first so you know how to get this deck off. Okay, once you get this deck off, it's pretty simple. Um, also, down in the description, I'll put uh, a few tools that would make this a little easier for you, your grease gun, and, and I just got done sharpening my blades up on this deck. Um, it's really nice to use one of these flap discs. So I'll put even a real nice grinder in the description and some of these flap discs if you don't have any of them. But for the grease fitting right here, and I had to take off these covers. One cover had two screws in it and one had three. And there is a grease fitting right here. And you might want to take some spray lithium grease. Hang on, let me get some of that and I'll show you. Yeah, I like to take some white lithium grease too. You'll see that in, in that other video. I go over all this, this whole thing in that other video actually, except for I missed one of the spots to grease. That's why I'm making this video. But I put some of this, this white lithium grease down in here and I'll spray some down in there. Just don't try not to get anything on your belt and maybe put some white lithium grease down in here. I might even do some right now. If anybody's watching this video and they know where I can get some of these brakes, when you disengage your blades, those brakes will hit on there and stop these pulleys. Because this one here is starting to get really war. I can't seem to find where to order them. So please put that down in the comments. And while you're at it, you can, if you take this belt off, you can spin your pulleys. You, now you're gonna have to disengage that brake. And if they should spin, let's see if I can do this. They should spin. Oh, hang on, that's heading there. I can't hear nothing. If you start hearing a lot of grinding and rattling, your bearings might be going out. Same with all these. These ones will spin a little easier. They, these are just your idler pulleys. These ones here have your blades on them. But, okay, so you grease that with the spray, grease that, grease that, and you got the two grease fittings down under here. And then you have a grease fitting there, and you got a grease fitting down there, and same thing on this side. There's a grease fitting on this tire. You can't see it. It's bad back over there. There. And a grease fitting there. And you also have a grease fitting right here. This is the one I missed on my video, other video. And that's all the grease fittings. And before you... I think before I start mowing, I'd also maybe get in here and check the air filter. I'll put a whole kit down below in the description. We'll have this air filter and I have an oil filter. I think even a spark plug. Um, check your oil before you start mowing. Maybe check your terminals on your battery. And like I said, you might want to take your blades off of that deck and clean them up and sharpen them. And for demonstration purposes only, just in case you get sick of hitting this button to keep going backwards to mow, which I think is kind of ridiculous. Instead of keeping both your hands on the wheel, you gotta push this stinking button in to go backwards so your mower blades don't shut off. There's a white and black wire right here. Well, I cut it. 
And then I just took a little wire nut and I put them together. So that's about it for this video. I hope I helped you out finding where all your grease fittings were on this tractor. And I'll, I'm gonna put everything down in the description to help with that. Uh, just please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. God bless and have a great day.